Okay, so the third and final example I'd like to consider is one in which we don't have a theta by itself, but actually theta is multiplied by something or add or subtracted by a number. So here we've got 2 theta minus 35. Also our limits are from minus 180 all the way to 180. We can start just by simplifying the problem and uh, by making um, x equals to 2 theta take away 35. So what we've got is sine of x equals to minus 1. However, if we do that, we've also got to change our limits from theta to x. So 2 theta will give us minus 360 to 360. 2 theta take away 35, which is x, will then give us minus 395 and 325. So, that, so we've simplified the problem by introducing x and also therefore by changing our limits. So if you want you can write x is greater than or equal to minus 395 or less than or equal to 325. Now if we put this in a calculator, um, our principal value of x will give us minus 90. 180 minus minus 90 would also give us another value of 270. If I add or subtract 360 to either one of these, I'll go outside my range of values. So both of these values should be fine. We can illustrate this on a graph as well to make things more clearer. So we've got minus 90 over here. 180 minus minus 90 gives us our 270 over here. And anything, um, uh, a 360 this way or the other way will take us beyond our uh, regions. Now we know we know what uh, um, what x is, so we've got two theta minus thirty five. So I can write two theta minus thirty five equals minus ninety or two seventy. What we now want is just basically rearrange for theta. So I'm just going to add thirty five to both of my values. So two theta equals minus fifty five or 305 and now we just need to divide by 2 to, to get our values of theta so we should get minus say 27 27.5 or 152.5 so we've got two values of theta okay so here's two exercises um, I'd like you to have a go at these um, before we continue and so you've got to solve for theta between 0 and 360. You've got 2 cos squared theta minus cos theta minus 1 is 0. And then you've got another one where you've got sine squared is um, sine squared of theta minus 30 equals a half. So you know, what you might want to do is um, pause the video and have a go at these and then come back and look at the answers once you've completed it. Okay, welcome back. Um, let's go and have a attempt at the first one. Uh, so we've got 2 cos theta minus cos theta minus 1 is 0. Again, what you could do if you want to, you could just do the whole thing in terms of cos theta, but I'd like to simplify where I can. So I'm going to say let x equals to cos theta. And now my equation becomes 2x squared take away x take away 1 equals 0. If we factorise this, we should get something like 2x plus 1 and x minus 1 equals 0. And therefore, x equals to minus a half, or x equals to 1. We can now substitute back in. So I've got cos theta equals to minus a half, or cos theta equals to 1. For cos theta minus a half, uh, my principal value should be 120 and then my second value should be 240. For cos theta 1, I know for my cos graph uh, there's 360, I know it hits the 1 at 2 points between 0 and 360, so we know theta 3 is 0 and theta 4 equals 360. So we have four solutions, 120, 240, 0, and 360. 
Okay, so let's have a go at this question here, part B. So we've got sine squared theta minus 30 equals half. And the first thing we could do is get rid of the square root sign. So we've got sine squared theta minus 30 equals 1 over 2. And if we get rid of the square root sign, we just get 1 over square root of 2. And we'll get two values, positive and negative. Um, for the benefit of students who might want to sort of um, um, have things explained sort of step by step, what I'm going to do is make this into an x. So I've got sine x equals plus or minus 1 over square root of 2. But since it's a small number and you're not multiplying theta by anything, if you want to, you can sort of continue as theta minus 30 as well. Since we've changed um, theta to x, we've also got to change our limits. And so now our limits become uh, minus 30 to 330. So we've taken 30 from both sides since um, x equals theta minus 30. Um, so now we've got two solutions. Let's investigate both of them. So we've got sine of x equals 1 over square root of 2. We also have sine of x equals minus 1 over square root of 2. Um, if we got the for the pot for the first one, our x1 should give us 45. And then 180 take away 45 should give us x2, which is 1, 3, 5. For the minus 1 over square root of 2, I'll just write down x. If we put that in a calculator, um, we should get minus 45. That's obviously not within our range. And so we could do 180 minus minus 45, and that will give us a third value, which is 225. And we can generate another value, uh, which I call x4, by adding 360 to this one. And that will give us 315. We now need to do is just convert back to theta. And we know um, uh, x equals theta minus 30. So we know what our x's are. We just need to add, therefore, theta, uh, add 30 to all our x's. Um, so we should have um, 45 plus 30, 75, 135 plus 30. 165 and then 255 and 345. So those are our four values.